What is good everybody and welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today I have another WWE action figure set up for you guys and this time it is the pre-Royal Rumble edition. These are Raw Superstars and SmackDown Superstars all mixed together across my arena. I did not do anything in the arena, you know where the action happens in the wrestling ring, but this is all backstage before the Royal Rumble, all events leading up to it. Um, I cannot wait for January 28th. The Royal Rumble is going to be amazing. Cannot wait to do my predictions for that. But before that happens, we got to get through this setup, guys. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys, we will start down here at the locker room. Exiting the door right here, we have the artist Shinsuke Nakamura. Don't even know why I call him that. I hate that nickname. But if you go through the door right here, you will enter the locker room, the official MDT locker room, and you will see Braun Strowman flipping this table over right here in mid-action, you see. And this chair is already flipped over. I guess you could say this is before anybody has really noticed. But if we look right beyond Braun, you will see Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens talking about their WWE Championship match that they have at the Royal Rumble versus AJ Styles. Cannot wait to see what happens in that match. I'm sure we will see some shenanigans between Shane McMahon and Daniel Bryan as well. As we come around the locker room, you will see Bayley and Sasha Banks talking to Charlotte trying to get their pushes back in this Women's Royal Rumble, the first ever. I'm sure Charlotte will be in there somewhere. I'm sure she'll be around the ring or something for that event. They're not going to leave her out of that, you know, historical moment. So if we come right back through the locker room door and go across the hallway, you will see that it says MDC General Manager. And if you go in there, you will see some three people right here talking to the man himself, Vince McMahon, at his desk. And um, don't mind any of the MDT stuff on the wall. Right now in this setup, this is Vince McMahon's office. But he is talking to three former legends coming back. Well, I guess you could say Bobby Lashley's really not a legend. But um, he's talking to him about a possible return in the Royal Rumble. We got Rey Mysterio and Lita. Um, I just sort of, these are three people that popped in my head. Batista is another guy that could also be in this Royal Rumble. Very much looking forward to that. And if you come through the general manager's office, you will come down this hallway right here into this lobby area, and you will see already a Royal Rumble participant, John Cena, talking to his fiancée, Nikki Bella, about her possible entry into the first ever woman's Royal Rumble. You have some storage units coming down through here, and then you have the Raw Tag Team Champions, Seth Rollins and Jason Jordan. I hate them as a tag team. I really cannot get behind Jason Jordan's character, but, um, you know, they're high-fiving because they are the... Uh, champions now and they are looking to defend it at the Royal Rumble. Right here we have the WWE Champion AJ Styles walking around big man on campus. Just behind him you have the glorious new United States Champion Bobby Roode chilling before the Royal Rumble. Not sure if he will have a match but I'm pretty sure he will be an entry in there. Beyond that you have the big dog chilling right there with his intercontinental title. I guess you could say that he beat The Miz on Raw 25, but I'm going to say that Miz is going to win. I know I have him here with the title, but I think The Miz will win that. Over here, we have tensions continuing to rise between Shane McMahon and Daniel Bryan. I'm sure this will culminate here at the Royal Rumble. Cannot wait for that. Uh, right there, we have a green screen to uh, show the action that's happening in the ring. Coming on around, you will see that behind Shane McMahon, and then we have a table set up. There's the curtain to go to the ring. And after that, if you come straight through here and not go down the hallway back towards the locker room, you will see Finn Balor declaring to Brock Lesnar that he will be coming after his Universal Championship after he wins the Royal Rumble. That is who I would pick to Royal, win the Royal Rumble if it were my choice. Have him win the Royal Rumble, ditch all that Roman Reign business, and have him win back his Universal title at WrestleMania. Right here we have Dolph Ziggler hitting the exit door. Um, you know, he recently just walked out. I um, I hate that. I'm a huge Dolph Ziggler fan. But um, my prediction is that he returns at the Rumble and wins the damn thing and goes after the WWE Championship. That would be absolutely amazing. But right here, we have him making his exit. Uh, we have Asuka telling Alexa Bliss that she will be winning the first ever Women's Royal Rumble and coming for her championship at WrestleMania. Pretty sure this is going to happen. This is how I would book it. Asuka should come out at number one and just run the table and eliminate every single lady. Um, Nia Jax is there protecting her best friend right now. And as you come across, you will enter the medical area right here where we have a uh, doctor official telling everyone that is not going to be a participant in the Royal Rumble. Um, we have Samoa Joe right here on crutches. You know, he has his foot injury. Wasn't sure if it was the left or right, so I just threw the right one up there. 
Um, we have Jeff Hardy with his shoulder injury. I think he's supposed to come back for Raw 25, but he will most definitely not be in the Royal Rumble. Um, coming around, we have Big Cass with his knee brace on. And it's pretty sure that he won't be a participant, but it would be cool to see him return. Not the biggest fan of him, but it would still be cool to see if he could recover that fast. Right here we have Dean Ambrose, of course, out with a shoulder injury or elbow. Cannot remember, but he's in the sling. And then we have the unfortunate career-ending page right here. Just informed that she will no longer be able to participate in the ring. And um, it sucks because she just came back, but, you know, it is what it is. She had a great career regardless, and I wish her the best. But that pretty much does it for this entire WWE figure setup. I hope you guys did enjoy this setup. I had a ton of fun setting it up and filming it for you guys. Um, leave a like. Leave a comment down below if you enjoyed it. What other uh, figure setups you would like to see in the future. Do you want to see a Royal Rumble one in the arena over there? Let me know down in the comment section below. Subscribe for more epic WWE and WWE figure related videos, guys. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much.